Hey, I'm Greg, uh, bass player for Black Fast. We're gonna take a look at some of Black Fast's gear today, and uh, we're gonna start with uh, all my cool stuff. This is a Padula from like 94 or something. I got it used, seriously awesome deal. I love this bass, I've never played anything sweeter in my life. I'm not a bass player, you should know that. I'm mostly a drummer, so this thing just rules. Uh, as far as I know, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, it's just a really responsive bass, uh, like, I mean, it's a boutique you know, company, Padula, like, so, it just sounds good, I'll just leave it at that, it sounds great, it's really responsive, it feels great, um, it's smooth, uh, so, the, uh, the sweeps on the, uh, you know, like, the, the tone knobs are really responsive, so, uh, just, you know, with a dry signal, you can really get a lot of, uh, different, you know, tonal characteristics out of the bass alone. It's a Bartolini active pickup, um, you know, dead simple, which I love, because I hate options, um, there's a, a mid, uh, uh, I think it's a mid-cut switch, which kind of like helps boost or cut stuff as needed. Um, I leave these, uh, you know, just uh, just above center. Uh, you know, that way I have, uh, and I, I cut my volume a little bit. That way, if I need to boost myself just from the guitar, I can do that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, for this band, I, you know, things are pretty flat, and uh, I rely on like my preamp uh, for most of the tone. So yeah, I use SIT strings from Akron, Ohio, uh, 45 to 125. Rock Bright's nickel. I use the nickel because they're a little less abrasive on the frets. You know, don't want to wear these bad boys out too much. Um, but yeah, these guys are sweet. Check them out. I use an Aguilar tone hammer. Recently got this thing, really happy with it. Um, I have everything set, you know, pretty, pretty flat. Uh, it just sounds good. Um, you can get a lot of a lot of tones out of this thing, um, but I have it, you know, pretty basic. Um, into this Ampeg 8x10, just your basic beat to shit cabinet that has seen a lot of road wear and is gonna see a lot of road wear. On the board, uh, which was gracious, the pedal board was graciously given to me by Conway of East of the Wall. Um, <clears throat> I've got, uh, so I'm going into a Korg uh, pitch black tuner, um, then into an Aguilar aggro distortion pedal, um, and into a Microtubes, uh, sorry, Dark Glass Microtubes B7K preamp. Um, I use the preamp to uh, just kind of like dial in my tone, you know, it's really responsive EQ, uh, definitely get like a, you know, a hotter output, uh, hotter sound uh, than just straight out of the amp. Um, and then. I use the aggro to add like a hint of growl. So, um, like as you can see, the saturation knob is like way down here. So, um, you know, I could get the same growl out of just the B7K, but I kind of like being able to, you know, turn it on and off and adjust it as necessary. So, uh, these are always on through the whole set. Um, so, as I said, my tone in Black Fast is like pretty simple. There's no variations. Uh, I don't change anything. Uh, it's just all about you know the playing. So. Um, yeah, these things are always on. Uh, next on my board, these are very auxiliary. Um, I've got um, Electro Harmonics uh, Boost um, in case, you know, I rarely use it, but sometimes you just need to be loud. And if I want to make some weird, pretty sounds while someone's tuning, I've got the Electro Harmonics Freeze, which just latches onto you know, a split second of whatever's coming out and holds it. So, all right, that's my board. Hi, I'm Trevor uh, from Black Fast. I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff I play and use. This is uh, my main guitar I use. This is a Sir M1 uh, Maple Neck um, Five Way Selector. Uh, pretty basic Goto trim, best trims you can get. Um, not much to say about it. It's just a sick guitar. Okay, so just basic standard Diodario NYXL strings. I've got. Um, 10 to 46, I believe, and um, this did have the stock pickups in there. I'm not sure what they were, but I switched them out to um, Sir um, Doug Aldrich pickups. They're a little bit hotter for heavier music. Um, so that's about it. This guitar is cool. A lot of people ask me about it because they don't really see these types of guitars in heavy metal. So. Honestly, for metal, unless I'm playing clean stuff like intros or whatnot, it's usually just bridge or neck. So. Just that, but if I was playing like an intro or something, somebody use like a chorus on, that's always a good uh, sound. It's pretty versatile, actually. 
So this is my uh, secondary guitar. This is a uh, Jackson. Similar thing, maple fretboard. I like maple for some reason. Um, I moved the knob because my hand would always run into it, so that's why there's the hole in there. I want to put a laser in it or something. The purple guitar, pretty sick. Um, yeah, this is my backup. It's still a great guitar. I got it for pretty cheap too, so can't beat it. It's purple. Yeah, this um, I was like I said earlier, these were the pickups that were in the Sur, and I took these out because I don't like batteries in my pickups. I don't like EMGs or anything like that. I just like solid passive pickups. They're less maintenance. They're, they sound great too. Okay, um, so the pedals I use are pretty basic. I don't have a whole lot of stuff going on. I've got mostly modulation effects really. So I've got a the chorus, TC Electronics. They're all TC Electronics. This is the transition delay. Um, this is the one I think they had before they came out with the flashback. Um, I still like it a lot though. They're all beat to hell because I stomp on them and whatnot. And then this is a little reverb. It's just one knob, you know, so you can get a lot of depth out of that. This is like a little overdrive. Um, I play on channel two. Gives it a little bit more oomph to it. Channel three is just gained out pretty hard, so I kind of wanted to get them kind of close to each other. And this is just a tuner, so. Meat and potatoes, man. This is the head I've been playing. It's pretty much a workhorse. A lot of people use these heads. This is the EVH uh, 5153. Um, it's three channel amp, clean, uh, rhythm, and uh, lead. I actually do a lot of my playing on the lead channel. I just like the way it sounds a little bit. But like I said, with the OCD, I'll play that on channel two, and uh, that'll give it a little more oomph, so it's a little more saturated. and. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really not too much of a techie guy, so I just kind of play what I got and make it work. Hi, I'm Aaron with Black Fast, and I'm going to show you my gear. So everything starts here with my sound, these digits, and I use one of these guys. It's a Dunlop Ultex Jazz 3. That's my guitar pick, which I most of the time use. And then uh, this is my guitar. It's a 2008 uh, Paul Reed Smith McCarty. I've played every gig with Black Fast with this guitar. I don't travel with a backup. I'm not endorsed. It's my only guitar. I'm not endorsed. So my hands hold the pick and then my fingers touch these strings. These are D'Addario NYXL 10 to 46 strings. I'm not endorsed uh, by D'Addario, but I play these strings on every tour that we've, uh, that we've done so far. Um, I love it. Volume tone, three-way toggle, uh, coil tap, 5708 pickups. It's about as simple as it gets. From there, the noise that I make with my hands and the strings and the guitar runs out of those pickups through these Mogami cables. Mogami is an excellent company. They make fantastic cables. I'm not endorsed, but I do use these cables from Mogami. Through my pedal board, which right now uh, is very simple. It's just a TC Electronics Polytune tuner, which has seen some days. This full tone 2B boost, which um, works really, really well if you put it in an effects loop. Um, and then the TC Electronic Flashback Mini. Super simple. I do travel with this Maxon OD808. Kids, if you use a Marshall amp, which you should, this is the pedal to have. Um, I had a JCM 800 on the last tour that I was traveling with, but it was stolen, so I don't really need this on my board anymore. Um, that's, a great, that's a great pedal to have, though, um, to give your amp some drive. Trevor says he would like to use it at some point. And then uh, from my pedals, I go out here to this little jammer. That's the 100 watt Saldano Avenger. Um, I've played every gig Blackfest has ever played with this amp. For the most part, I'm not endorsed, but uh, I do love this amp, Saldano Avenger. It's 100 watts. Um, I think that I've been told that it's basically just the like the gain channel out of like an SLO but there's no loop there's no verb there's no second channel it's just the high gain uh, circuit that's it so that's about all you have we're using a boogie backline on this tour but I also have a Soldano um, 412 cab with finished 30s and uh, that's it that's my sound yeah so um, just check out a record the uh, terms of surrender put out last August um, still out we're still doing the album cycle so we're out here with uh vital remains and uh hate eternal so catch us on tour if you can and uh see you guys next time